the Therese AS1 from Pioneer DJ. It's based on the sequential circuits OB6, except of course it's not polyphonic, it just does one voice, it's a mono. We're looking at it here through the, um, the Sound Tower editor, which shows all the features. It's free, although there is a paid one with more features. So it's basically two of everything, two oscillators. You can adjust the shape and the pulse width and the tuning. And there's a sub oscillator that, that can also be mixed in, just an octave down. There are two filters, um, high and low, and they're in that serial, you know, high first and then low. Two envelopes one for the filter and one for the amp. And there's a modulation section and an aftertouch section, sources and destinations. There are two effects, again in series, one then the other, and uh, an LFO oscillator. And finally, there's a slider, which is part of the performance options, as well as the, uh, the knobs you see on the front. There's a, also a bank editor that will save the presets and, and the ones that you create. Uh, they're called the user banks, they're called. Saving it on your computer, of course. And here's the sequencer, which is very useful. You can save a short sort of riff to go with the sound to remind you, you know, if it was a bass sound or a lead sound. And there's some global settings too, you know, MIDI channel, uh, a kind of a, a live set of sounds that you can access. And these are these performance uh, features, knobs, the filter and the amp basically. And there's MIDI in and out, and you can trigger in if you want to set it up with your Eurorack. And that's it. The Therese AS1.